One year after a shocking dis discovery, the city of Philadelphia still had the remains of MOVE bombing victims decades later and without the knowledge of family members. Well, today, the city returned those remains to the family. Here's our Jeff Cole. For one family, the long, bitter history of the MOVE bombing ended today. How are you feeling, man? It hurts. It hurts so bad. They say it took my family, and that's why I got this in remembrance to them. They, they, they cannot die in vain. Lionel Dotson must have wondered if this day would ever come. The day Philadelphia would hand him the remains of his sisters, Zanita and Katricia Dotson, killed in the MOVE bombing 37 years ago. Finally getting them a resting place permanently, I can do this for them. I believe. Dotson and his family entered the medical examiner's office this morning to retrieve the remains years after they were placed on a shelf and largely forgotten. He says the medical examiner offered an apology he's long sought from city leaders. She came out on her own, on her own accord and said, I'm sorry for your loss and gave me that sincere a heartfelt apology and I appreciate it and I accept it. It was May of 1985 when police dropped explosive devices on the roof of the Osage Ave compound of MOVE, a group advocating natural living. Six adults and five children perished in the massive blaze. Katricia 14 and Zanita 12 were inside. Last year it was revealed the University of Pennsylvania and the city had their remains and had for years. The city, instead of worrying about the humanity of the victims, was worried about, they were worried about themselves. They were worried about themselves and they disregarded the dignity of the victims. With Philadelphia paying all the family's expenses to travel from North Carolina, Lionel Dotson received his sister's remains in the chapel at the Ivy Hill Cemetery. Uh, I just lost the word. I'm finally reuniting with my siblings. It's wow. Wow, wow, wow. Looking on, Dotson's wife holding her infant grandson. It's bittersweet. It's really sad that, you know, my grandson didn't get to meet his great aunts. Um, but it's really a good thing that he, they get to come back to Fayetteville, North Carolina with us. The remains were immediately cremated and handed to Dotson, overcome with emotion. Got him. A spokesperson for the city acknowledged the transfer while a lawsuit against the city and the University of Pennsylvania now seem likely. In Old City, Jeff Cole, Fox 29 News.